Hi everyone, in today's video, we're going to go through the part 4 of the Autoarchy Windows Manipulation Tutorial Series, which is going to be about window groups. So if you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. Alright, welcome back. Let's get started. Group is actually a topic that I have briefly touched on in one of my very first videos, but I decided to create a new video out of it because there are some things such as these ones that I haven't covered. So here it is. Group allows you to create groups out of windows of specifications that you provide using the win title. So for example, using the group add command, you are able to create a group using the win title and anything that matches the win title will be assigned to the group. And within that group, what you can do is you can either activate them, deactivate them and close them. Deactivate basically means you activate another window that is not part of the group that you create. We're using the group add command. So in order to use that group add command, you would do something like this, where you provide an arbitrary name of a group of your choice and then followed by a win title. Obviously, this can be any um, other types of win title as well. This can be Autoarchy uh, EXC for the process name or even just a, a partial title match if you set the title match mode to the correct one. Uh, or you can use a class name like this in order to uh, use the class as your identifying feature for your window. So I've got three notepad windows open like this. And what I'm going to do after I add these into my notepad group, I'm going to create a hotkey that activates the notepad group. And the R here is an optional parameter. If you don't put anything in, that means it will activate the earliest activated window within that notepad group window. R means it will activate the most recently activated window within the group window. So let me just go and in a clockwise manner. So I've activated this one first, and then this one first, and then that one first. So if I go ahead and run this, so if I press the hotkey now, and it's, then it's going to activate the window that I had activated last within the group of windows, and that's going to be the top one, as you can see here. And then the next one after that is going to be this one down here, and then the one after that, so on and so forth. So that's how the group activate works. And you can also uh, put a label inside this parameter, it's optional. Uh, but if you don't have any windows found, so let me close out of all of these notepad windows, any you don't have any windows found by using the, the win title that you provide, then by running the hotkey group activate, it's going to jump into the label called no window, you can name this to whatever else. And that label is going to display a message box that says no window has been identified. So let me just go ahead and run this and run the hotkey without any notepad windows open, then it's going to go straight into the label like that. So that's something that you can uh, create if you want to uh, notify your user that there is no window, take a particular action based on how there is no identified window. But if you do have a identified window, then that's not going to obviously run that label and it will just activate that notepad window. However, one thing that you should be mindful of while I have this individual window activated, if I press the hotkey again to act, try and activate the next window within the group, which does not exist, it's going to jump into the label and therefore it's going to show that message box like that. If you put my focus away from this um, single member of the window within the group of windows and then uh, press the hotkey again, then it's going to activate that one. So if you have one, then the label is not going to run if the window is not activated. But if that's the only one, and if you have that one window activated already, then the next time you press or run the group activate command is going to go into that label parameter to run the label. Group close is, as you can imagine, is used to close the 
the windows that exist inside the group and it does it one by one uh, by default um, you can close it all in one go as well let me just try and make this stay always on top so I've got group head again to add these windows into my notepad group and group close notepad group you can put on R here it has the same effect as what you've seen before um, but this time I'll just omit the option here doesn't really matter so group close is going to close these windows one by one but the window that is going to close is the active window within the group of windows so the first time I run this hotkey when I don't have any of these notepads activated is going to activate one of these notepads whichever one because I don't have the R option here whichever one that was activated the earliest so if I go ahead and run it then it's going to activate one of these windows and that happens to be this one and then if I run the hotkey again if the auto hotkey script understood that I have this uh, window which is part of my notepad group window is activated then it's going to close out of that and then activate the next window within the group going by the earliest activated rank so because and that's because I don't have that option there so if I go ahead and run the hotkey then that's gonna close let me try again okay. oh sorry I didn't rerun the script that's why so apologies for that so if I go ahead and run this uh, hotkey then that just activated this one so if I run the hotkey again that's that, then that's gonna uh, close that window and move on to the next window as you can see the next activated window is the other another uh, notepad window if I go ahead and press the hotkey again that's gonna close that and then that's gonna close this one as well if you want to close all of these in one go then you put in the option of a let me just rerun this and then run the hockey then that's going to close all three windows in one go and that would have the same effect as had you used the win close command and provide the auto hockey group notepad group as the win title so this is a group action taken on on all the windows that are part of the group of windows that you specify so there are some other windowing commands or window action commands that you can operate on AutoArchy group, group name, win title, for example, win minimize, maximize, restore, hide, etc. etc. They all act upon the group of windows. So here's an example I've got, uh, which is again going to uh, create a group out of is notepad windows so let me just go ahead and create three notepad windows again and then i'm doing a, a loop of three iterations and that's because i need to activate each and every one of these ones before maximizing them because if they're not activated then it's just going to be maximized behind visual studio code actually i have them always on top so activation is actually not required but uh, as part of my example i had to edit that but basically what I'm trying to do is win, use the win maximize window command on the notepad group and that's going to apply to all three of these windows. So if I go ahead and run it or re relaunch it, then it's going to maximize each and every one of these three notepad windows like that. So these are the window commands that you can uh, bulk operate on the group of windows group deactivate like I mentioned earlier on it will activate another window this time I'm just gonna create two instances of notepad it will activate uh, a window that is outside of this uh, group of windows so I've got it running now let me just put my focus on one of these notepad windows if I run the hotkey then it's going to because I have the R option, it's going to activate the newest non-member window, which is going to be the Visual Studio Code, because my focus just now was on Visual Studio Code. So if I go ahead and run it, then as you can see, my focus has been switched back to my Visual Studio Code like that. If I go ahead and, and run the hockey again, then it's going to activate some other window that is not one of these ones. 
All right, so that's how group deactivate works. And this is it for today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.